Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Honda Civic SI sedan. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're in the market for a new car, I wrote a killer article on my website about how to buy a new car for the lowest price. The 2019 Honda Civic SI gets new colors and a volume knob. Both coupe and sedan have been refreshed and updated with a handful of new features. Unlike the regular Civics, the 2019 SI receives no styling updates, but two new colors have been added to the palette. Platinum White Pearl is now available on both body styles, while Tonic Yellow Pearl is for the coupe only. The volume knob isn't the only addition to the interior. The infotainment system gains more physical buttons, and the Bluetooth integration has been improved. The HVAC system gets some buttons for fan speed. The cup holders in the center console are bigger. The electronic parking brake switch has been redesigned. And the steering wheel controls have been made more intuitive. What's more, all Civic trims, including the SI, also get additional features from, Honda Sense, from the Honda Sensing Bundle, which is now standard. It includes adaptive cruise control, Ford collision mitigation, and lane departure warning with lane keeping assist. The Civic SI already had several advantages over competitors, and this addition of safety equipment is yet another. Okay, so we saw that the brand new 2019 Civic SI sedan starts. The MSRP, the price, the starting price, is $24,300. Here's how this build and price is going to work. This is an overview page, so we're going to go over this overview page, and then we're going to dig down a little deeper, check out the gallery, colors, exterior, interior, and features. I have a feeling that that's going to send us to sections on this page. And then we'll explore everything in detail, get all the information about this Civic, find out the specs, check the interior, check out the engine, find the horsepower, all of that stuff, and even talk about pros and cons, because no matter how good a car is, and this Honda Civic is exceptional, and they'll tell you that, every vehicle has pluses and minuses. So, with that said, let's start by taking a look at the gallery and talking about pros and cons. So we've got 36 photos to go through. That's going to be interior and exterior photos. Down here, you can see they kind of throw down a little, a little sentence. Uh, and then up here, they kind of tell you, uh, what Civic it, the Civic it is and what color it is on um, this one anyway. It'll probably change with each one. So pros and cons while I go through this. And if you want to read anything, just make sure you pause the video really quick. All right, so pros. Excellent fuel economy and performance from turbocharged engine. Um, ride quality expertly balances comfort and athleticism. And the interior is very nice too. Look at that leather wrapped steering wheel. Look at those sport pedals. This is a nice place to be. I'm really glad I did a review of this vehicle. I thought I'd like it. I've been seeing the new Hondas on the road, and I like the way they're shaped. Okay, going on with the pros. Uh, many standard advanced technology and safety features. Yeah, because it's got the Honda Sensing. Um, nice seat, by the way. And last, for the pros, uh, roomy cabin with high-quality materials. And looking at this seat, it's a high-quality, highly bolstered sport seat. Uh, for the cons, for the pluses and or for the minuses, you know we've got an overly vigilant Ford collision warning system is frustrating. They say and slow responsive adaptive cruise control system. All right, so here we are with the rest of these photos. Now they're telling her, telling us that there's an adaptive damper system that can control the suspension for maximum handling. Upgraded brakes can uh, help keep you in uh, command, and a low aggressive stance shows you're ready for anything. Right. Oh, it comes standard with the adaptive damper system, upgraded brakes, right, because we, we do have the SI, so we shouldn't have to upgrade to any of that performance stuff. There's your Apple CarPlay. Doesn't say anything about Android Auto, though. I like how they have the little carbon fiber. See the carbon fiber inlay there? I think that's nice. I really like the Honda screen. It's very clear, and the resolution is just popping. I like the little red around the push start button, too, for the engine start. Uh, there's your rear camera. Right, uh, this guy is doing whatever he's doing. Right, nice shots. So you can still get this with a six-speed manual. Right, there's your power e-brake. Uh, this one's not highly optioned because it looks like it's missing a couple buttons. If you can put some other options on it, we'll find out. All right, let's keep it moving. There's your sport button. 
we'll find out more about all, each feature. So we're not going to stop to read all that in the, in the gallery because we're going to go check out the technology and the performance. And so we're going to find out about it. So otherwise, it would kind of be redundant. But I do want to check the photos in the gallery so that way you can see all the information. And the design just gives us some information, gives us some look on the design. I was going back because there was that, sh there it is, of the low center outlet exhaust. I really like how the exhaust looks, how the, the finisher is. Uh, they show a lot of that steering wheel, but it's very attractive. They're showing the difference between uh, an SI uh, sedan and a coupe. Uh, Ten more photos to go. There was a shot of that HVA system, HVAC. Right. There is a shot of the uh, uh, running gear, the drivetrain, I should say. There's a, a side camera. There's changing lanes with Honda Lane Watch. There's a camera right there. It does have a low stance. And there's your uh, some other music sources, intuitive display audio screen. Right. There's your Pandora, Sirius XM. You can Bluetooth, iPod, FM. Right. You got you got options. You got options, man. Honda Link. We'll find out more about it. And uh, there it is. All right, let's get out of here. Let's keep it moving. Let's see what they're going to say about the Honda Civic Si sedan versus the competition. I kind of brushed on that a little bit. Uh, so let's find out what they have to say about it. So the four uh, vehicles that they've got up by default, um, beside, well, the three vehicles they have up besides the Civic Si is the Honda Elantra Sport with a DCT transmission. The Nissan Sentra Nismo with the six-speed manual, and the Mazda M, uh, the Mazda three four-door Grand Touring in manual. So, as we scroll down, we can see base prices, right? We can see comparably equipped prices, fuel economy. Um, yeah, so the fuel economy is really good over here in the Star is is the Honda Civic on the far left lane. Performance and engineering. So horsepower, we can see that the Honda Civic has the most horsepower. Um, it doesn't have the most torque, um, but it's pretty close, but it's not making torque as low in the RPM range as the Honda Elantra, and you're going to feel that performance, but maybe just marginally. Um, limited slip differential, standard on the Honda Civic Si, and the Nismo, of course. Hill start descent, everybody's kind of got that. Dual zone climate control, everybody's sort of kind of got that. Um, yeah. So really, you're kind of gaining it in the performance, right? And they're all really closely matched. So yeah, they, they compare. You can compare them. And the Honda has you in a few places. But all things being considered, you're probably just picking out the vehicle that you like. They didn't really, there's nothing real super notable about it. Uh, they say that if it's a star, they're a Honda Advantage over one or more of the competitors, if there's a star over here. So I guess they have a lot of stars. And so in each segment, they're, they're at least not at the bottom of the pack, I guess is what they're saying. All right, let's move on. Let's look at the colors. Let's do a spin around first. Can we do a spin around? Yeah, there it is. There's a spin around. And we'll get an angle we like. Uh, are there more photos too? Oh, I guess I could have just done that as well. That was easier. All right, that angle's fine. And now let's um, take a look at these colors. So this is a GN Blue Metallic, available only on SI sedans, apparently. And then there's the Crystal Black Pearl, same deal. Let's get another angle on that. Yay? Okay. Um, and then there's the Modern Steel Metallic. Then there's the Lunar Silver Metallic. And then we're going to have what here for the white? The Platinum White Pearl. That's new this year. Remember, that's a new color this year. Only available on the sedan because the um, coupe gets a yellow. And then this Rally Red. I kind of like, well, if you watch my channel, and you should, so subscribe, then you know I'm, I'm usually partial to the lighter colors, especially the whites, and I like the Platinums and the Pearl Whites and stuff like that. So I think we're going to like that color for ours. Let's, uh, let's move on. Okay, so let's talk about the exterior. So it looks like it's just moving us down the page. And so we're over here at the exterior module. Let's explore more. And it's going to tell, tell us about its menacing stare. Aggressive sport bumper, legendary red SI badge, framed by a menacing gloss black grille. 
Uh, and the snarling lip make the Civic SI sedan hard to miss. And then I guess we can pick different angles here. Angular body lines. The long angular body lines of the Civic SI. Let me give us a little more room up here. Oh, okay. I guess that's what it does. Uh, the long angular body lines of the Civic SI sedan are striking in any light. Okay. Um, low and sleek, this four-door sedan combines practical functionality with aspirational style. And then from the back side here, uh, signature C-shaped taillights highlight the unmistakable attitude of the Civic. I just saw one of these on the road yesterday. Featuring a turbocharged engine, a wing spoiler, and a center outlet exhaust. The 2019 Civic SI sedan pushes the limits not only of performance, but of style as well. And then her side shot here, aerodynamic design, they're calling it. Uh, from the rear bumper to the front grille, the Civic SI sedan is shaped for an aerodynamic and athletic silhouette. And then interior, they're talking about unlock excitement. Combine the best features of a sports car and a sedan. The Civic SI sedan offers an eye-catching and premium cabin experience. The cabin was looking quite premium to me. So here's another shot of that very gorgeous cabin. Track-ready tech. Uh, add to the thrill of every outing with a leather-wrapped steering wheel, customizable driver-focused displays like a boost meter, rev limit in indicator, G-force gauge, plus a 7-inch display, uh, audio touchscreen. Awesome. What over here about the seats do we need to know? Comfortable interior, ample space, amenities, and soft but durable materials make the interior, interior suitable for road trips and joy rides alike. And then tell us about the sport button. Pushing the sport mode button adds responsiveness to the throttle and makes the spirited driving even more thrilling. Um, lightweight SI sport seats, front seats with red stitching are carefully designed to support you through every tight corner. And then the spacious sports car. The Civic SI sedan seats up to five in, the, in its sporty interior so all your friends can come along for the ride. For amenities, we have an intelligent interface. The convenient SI exclusive driver information interface, and that looks like a TFT screen, uh, displays fuel economy, speed, audio details, and more. Then they've got what? Then they've got the steering wheel uh, controls at your fingertips. The Civic SI sedan brings important functions like volume control, cruise control, uh, front and center on the leather wrapped steering wheel. Then there's uh, a better place, a better brake. Pull up on the switch to activate the electronic parking brake, keeping your vehicle in place no matter where you've parked. Then those beautiful pedals that remind me of Mercedes-Benz pedals, really. You'll certainly see these pedals on Mercedes AMG vehicle. I'm going to put a link up to my AMG video. AMG video uh, cars are very cool, too. Um, so, touch of the track. A nod to Honda's historic racing heritage. And, yes, they have a heritage as well. Uh, sport pedals add a hint of the racetrack to the Civic sedan, SI sedan. Heated front seats. Stay cozy even on icy winter mornings with heated front seats. And then you got beverage holders. Keep your favorite beverage close at hand. Let's check out some features, performance, connected audio, and technology. So for, per, uh, for performance, they're talking about their turbocharged power. Every inch of the 205 horsepower uh, Civic SI sedan was built for exhilarating performance on the track and the street. Then for their smart suspension, the adaptive damper system and McPherson strut front suspension uh, mitigate bumps in the road for a consistently smooth ride. And then their turbocharged motor, four-cylinder fun. One and a half liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with direct injection brings excitement to every drive. Small motor. Brakes and wheels. Uh, large brakes are perfectly showcased by the 18-inch Machine finish alloy wheels, just two facets of the car's bold, racing-inspired design. And then the six-speed Manny transmission, right? A close ratio, six-speed manual transmission, a helical limited slip differential, and a special sport mode give you ultimate control over high revs and curvy roads. Sounds fun, actually. And then the center-mounted exhaust. The, sport, the sporty look of the Civic SI sedan is enhanced by a low center outlet exhaust. 
Let's check out connected audio. So it says choose between streaming, plugging in, or tuning in with mini audio capabilities of the Honda of the mini with the mini <laughs> audio capabilities of the Civic SI sedan. And then, oh, there's Android Auto right there. They just didn't mention it before. Apple CarPlay integration. Uh, there's your Android Auto. It's all kind of that same, so I'm going to go skip over that. Uh, the Bluetooth streaming audio, uh, Sirius XM radio. Uh, what's that? Honda Link, schedule service appointments, save your parking location, and more, all from your smartphone. See more at hondalink.com. Okay, so for technology... They got technology on the go. The SI sedan offers a wide range of technology features to make your drive exceptional, from entertainment to safety and convenience. What's this? Multi-angle rearview camera. The multi-angle rearview camera with guidelines lets you see what's happening behind your vehicle while in reverse. Honda Lane Watch, activated by the right turn signal. Uh, lane, uh, Honda Lane Watch displays live video of the passenger side on a 7-inch high-resolution screen on the dash. <laughs> That's hardcore. Uh, the 450-watt audio system. The 450-watt 10-speaker premium audio system surrounds you with sound, whether that means the greatest hits or the latest podcasts. That was smart how they said that. Oh, snappity snap. The Honda Performance Accessories. Add a sporty, racing-inspired edge to your Civic SI sedan with the Honda factory performance accessories. Learn more? I think so. Now we're talking. Build on the legendary racing-inspired heritage of Honda by customizing your Civic SI sedan with the Honda factory performance interior and exterior accessories for a sportier, more athletic edge. The package includes a badge, all right, uh, another badge, okay, uh, updated uh, sports suspension, adaptive damper system, Underbody spoiler, underbody spoiler for the front, for the side, um, and then a wheel lug nut set in black, and then they give you black alloy wheels, and then another wheel lug set in black, <laughs> and then 19-inch wheels. Okay, they just said it really funny, that's all. Uh, but that's still cool. We're going to definitely look into that. I'm sure we're going to add that stuff. I'm sure of it. I don't think we're going to compare against the uh, competitors again, but I want to check all the features and specs. So we could just look at it singularly versus how we looked at it before. And then we're almost getting through all this information. So we'll be ready to do the build and price here in just a minute. Okay, so um, we can see the starting MSRP, the starting price, $24,300. Uh, the type of engine, we already know. It's running 20 pounds of boost, that motor. Wow. Um, horsepower, 205. Your torque, 192. At 2,100 RPMs, I'd love to have seen that at like 1,500 RPMs. It's always a disappointment to me when I see a turbocharged engine. I don't care what size it is. It's always a dis disappointment to me if it's not below 2,000 RPMs. Even if it's at 1,800, 1,900, I don't care. I want to see it in the thousands, 1,000 some odd somewhere. 1,500, I've seen it as low as 1,400, and that's nice. That means, boy, it's just nice. That's right off throttle. You got full power, buddy, full boost. All right, anyway, you got some techie stuff. We'll scoop over that. Uh, what is this? Two-mode uh, drive system, normal and sport. Uh, we got the hill descent. I'm not going to mention everything, so if you want me to slow down, then just pause the video. Let's look at these other modules. Well, for transmission, they're just telling us the gear ratios. I mean, I'm not that hardcore that I need to know the gear ratios, but since we're here, there they are. Okay, uh, let's move on. Let's see. There's exterior measurements because some of these I don't necessarily want to look at. Um, I do want to check the fuel economy. And we can see that the six-speed manual transmission, they don't even tell you what the fuel economy is. It says to be determined. Well, when they did that other Comparo, they were sure happy to tell you what the fuel economy was compared to other cars. And now we don't know what it is. So that's odd. A little bit over a 12-gallon fuel tank. And you could actually put regular unlimited, although regular unleaded, although they recommend premium, right? For best uh, performance, probably. Uh, active safety, that's that's safety equipment that will actively do things for you. Uh, brake assist, vehicle stability assist, anti-lock brakes, multi-angle rear view camera, tire pressure monitor system, LED daytime running lights. Um, what do we have for passive safety? Um, advanced front airbags, front side airbags, advanced compatibility engineering body structure. 
Okay, that's just probably the steel frame. Side curtain airbags, uh, three-point seat belts, uh, anchors and tethers for child seats, uh, driver and front passenger seat belt minders, child-proof rear do door locks. That's cool. Uh, what do we have for, say, um, we're going to check a few more of these. Uh, driver assist technology. What helps the driver with this car? Honda Lane Watch. Okay. Um, what about audio and connectivity? Just so we be sure, because I'm all about that tech, what do we have? The 450-watt stereo, the 7-inch uh, display, the Honda Link, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM. We got the Bluetooth. We're all teched up. We're all teched up. That's the takeaway. You got two USBs. One's the smartphone USB. You got a one amp and a 1.5 right uh the driver information interface uh audio okay so these are the things that you can pull up in in the center stack in between the in the gauge cluster audio average fuel economy average speed clock uh customizable feature settings digital speedometer <laughs> elapsed time outside temperature g-force instant fuel economy lap timer maintenance minder Miles till empty, odometer and trip, phone, rev limit in indicator, sport mode indicator, system message indicator, tachometer, throttle, input, brake input gauge. That's really cool. That's very video gamey. And the turbo boost meter. Under instrumentation, they show a 12 volt battery. They have a light for that, a light for the ABS, airbag light, brake system light, uh, cruise control, electronic power steering, fog lights. These are all where you get instrumentation, probably a light that lights up when any of these things are on or something. Headlights on indicator, high beam indicator, a mobilizer, that's your security, low fuel indicator light, low pressure light, low tire uh, warning light. If there's a malfunction, there's a light. Uh, seat belt reminder light, turn signals and hazards, of course, and whatever the VSA system on and off uh, indicators are. Okay, so I'm happy with all the uh, specs. Let's go build and price this thing now. Okay, we're ready to build. Six-speed uh, manual transmission is standard. Doesn't seem like there's an automatic option. That's fine. MSRP, 24300 as we know. First thing to do is choose our colors, right? We already know what the powertrain is, so we can close that. I know I don't want the GM blue. I already said that I like the platinum white, so we're going to do the platinum white. We can close that module. Uh cloth i guess black cloth seats is the only thing we have can we get a shot of the interior do they do a shot of the interior i if they do i can't tell so you get black cloth interior but we already saw what that looks like it's pretty cool let's take a look at the wheels okay oh ooh, 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 ooh. we have some wheel options i'm now i'm getting excited can we turn this so we have a better shot for the wheels that looks like a good shot for the wheels all right so these are the standard 18-inch wheels, and they're all right. But these with the uh, with the red lip look kind of sporty. Can we get a better shot here? Yeah. I don't think this, I bet you this um, configurator doesn't do it any justice, these wheels. Now, these are 10-spoke, and these are all black, and these are part of that HFP package, and we are going to get that HFP package. We are going to get the package, but I want to hit cancel on that for now. Because I want to show and read the details of this package one more time. Let's just check it out one more time. Just to double check. Right, you get the badges, sports suspension, you get underbody spoilers, and you get the black wheels. All right, that's a $4,000 package, basically. So we're going to get that package, and boom. Now we're at $28,299, and we have our wheels chosen as well. As well. Uh, we're not doing any body side molding for exterior accessories. Um, I do want the car cover, though. Um, what else do I want? Uh, the door visors? No, I don't want those door visors. We can close that for, for exterior accessories. Interior accessories, I do want the all-season floor mats. Automatic Demi mirror with home link. I want that. I think that's the garage door opener thing. Let's double-check that. Um, reduced glare lens, nighttime eye strain. Uh, automatic adjust for all light conditions, replaces the standard rearview mirror, includes home leak wireless control system that can be programmed to activate the de devices such as garage door openers, gates, and uh, right, rear-facing controlled lighting. All right, cool. 
Um, so that's what all that does. And then there's what? Console illumination in red? What's that all about? Eh, I can skip that. I'm not really feeling that. The door sill trim, however, I like that. That I like. We can do that. Red LED. I guess if that's red LED, then I might as well go ahead and match it up with this console illumination then. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And then there's electronic accessories, engine block heater, wireless phone charger. Yep. We'll take the wireless phone charger and let's go to the summary. Well, this thing's under $30,000. I like it. I like it a lot. I did everything I wanted to do and it's under $30,000. That's really enough said. And and even though in that comparison of the other cars, it didn't really, it, it, it was only incremental in some places. And the places where it beat all the cars were the places that mattered the most to me. And then adding the little, the little Honda factory performance package just makes it fun. It just makes it fun and buy into the whole experience. So, you know, $4,000 for that package and then, you know, a few, a few extra dollars for the miscellaneous accessories. And we're just under $30,000. We're $30,000 and change out the door, right? You got to pay your destination to handling. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to download this build. I'm pretty sure I can download the build. And if I can, I'm going to put a link in the description below. So if you like the way I spec this out, then you can download that in the description below. Other than that, I'm all done. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you for joining me. If you've made it to the end of this video, you rock. You're awesome. Please like, share, and subscribe to my video. Uh, I'm going to be doing some really great content. Uh, so you're going to want to stay tuned. Have a wonderful